Talking to Gray Patino's teammates, they say he has a very tough chin, so we'll see if the striking power of John Nguyen uh, is, comes out on top, and that's a big strike from Patino. I uh, shouldn't talk about Nguyen's power when Patino's throwing bombs like that. Yeah, nice right hand from Patino, a jab from Nguyen. Patino goes for the shot, but a nice defense there from Nguyen keeps it in on his feet. Big difference in this fight between the last time we saw John Nguyen. He looks much calmer, Ryan. Yeah, you can see a lot more relaxed, a lot more focused. And that's something that both fighters talked about was needing to, to change their mental process in the cage. And he said he expected himself to be a lot more relaxed. Nice counter there by Nguyen. Again, a counter. Trying to now time Gray Patino as he comes in. Which again, good striking. Another nice right hand answered with a jab. Seems Patino's getting around on those outside punches, Jeremy. Nice kick. Yeah, hard strikes from both fighters here. You can hear him snapping. That big looping right connected with the back of Nguyen's head. You can see Nguyen now trying to come in, throwing a combination. Again, the big difference in the striking is Patino is landing those big shots, but Nguyen is throwing straight forward. All of his punches come straight from the shoulder. That was another jab right connection. Already some blood coming from the nose of Gray Patino, but Gray Patino is throwing some great punches as well. So this is good striking from these two amateurs. And this is something where that, where that bleeding might come to play, because when you're a judge and you're looking at it, it's who did the most damage. Oh, Gray Patino's hurt. Gray John Patino is up hurt, yeah. the cage. He's, He's turtling up. Over. This fight is over. Call it a TKO win for John Nguyen. He gets it done against Gray Patino.